Welcome to the Ford stand at the 2018 Detroit Motor Show. Behind me are two bullet Mustangs, one new and one very much original. We'll get to that in a minute. First off, the new one built obviously to celebrate 50 years since that iconic car chase and that iconic film in 1968. It's based on the standard 5 litre Mustang GT, but it's up to 475 brake horsepower and 420 pounds foot of torque. It's a very good looking car, isn't it? There are two paint options, black and then Highland Green to mimic the original. I'm not quite sure why you would expect the black. It's actually a very subtle car. They've, they've basically completely debadged it uh, to mimic, again, the original car, which is what Steve McQueen did on that car because he wanted it to be subtle. You should be able to tell what car it is just from the silhouette, he thought. It's also wearing Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tyres. It's got the performance pack on it, which brings a host of sort of upgrades. And it's also got the optional sports exhaust from the standard car as well, which apparently gives it a lovely, lovely, lovely sound from that naturally aspirated V8. Inside, there's uh, black leather with some green stitching. And there's also, I suppose, the, the main thing that highlights it as a, a bullet masting inside is the cue ball top to the manual gear lever. It's only available as a manual, no autos here. Let's now talk about the original car. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's just a wonderful pattern. So the story with this car is that there were actually two Mustangs on the original shoot. And one was the stunt car and one was the hero car. This is the hero car. They, they dug up the stunt car in a scrapyard in Baja, California, only a couple of years ago, in fact. But this one has been in the same family uh, for about 40 years, I think. Uh, it was bought by one of the guys off the film set and then transferred not long after via a, a fairly innocuous looking um, advert in Road and Track. One of the main selling points seemed to be the fact that it had new tyres. Not the fact it had been in the iconic car chasing, but, but the fact it was on new tyres. Anyway, stayed in the family. We were going to do a bit of restoration on it. Sadly, the father died, the son inherited it, but life got in the way and it basically <coughs> sat in this barn for a long time and eventually he got round to restoring it, which was going to be the project between him and his father. Steve McQueen did actually try to buy it back, but he, all attempts were rebuffed by uh, the chap that had bought it. I'm glad to say it has remained in this wonderful pattern, so it looks just like it was originally. And it's, it's absolutely stunning. That iconic film chase, of course, it, it took them four weeks to film the 11 minutes, and Steve McQueen did all of his own stunts. What a very lovely thing. Apparently it's been insured for four million dollars. I'm not surprised. Anyway, I like the fact that they've done this anniversary version and it seems like a reasonable tribute to the original car. Let us know what you think in the comments section below and remember to subscribe to the channel and look out for more videos from the Detroit Auto Show over the next couple of days.